In this video, we are going to solve a numerical problem for the Leontief input output model. Let us look at a problem. Suppose that there are only three industries in the economy and one primary input, and the input coefficient matrix as follows. So they have given the input coefficient matrix. Uh, if the specific final demand vector, say the final output target of a development program, happens to be so they have also given us the final demand for the output of the three industries. Now this D is the final demand vector. Given the final demand vector, what are the solution output levels for the three industries? So in this particular problem, they have given us the input coefficient matrix, the final demand vector, and they have asked us to find the output levels for the three industries. In the solution to the given problem, first of all, we need to write down what is given. They have given us the input coefficient matrix and the final demand vector. Let us write down. We also need to write down what is to be found. Now they have asked us to find the output levels for the three industries. Now using the input output model equation. So we have already discussed in the Leontief input output model how this equation is derived. Through this equation, given the input demand or input coefficient matrix and final demand we will be able to find out the output levels for the three industries now before proceeding further in finding the output levels for the three industries first of all we need to find the inverse of the leontief matrix i minus a now computing the leontief matrix the leontief matrix is obtained by subtracting the input coefficient matrix from an identity matrix now this is the leontief matrix next we need to find the inverse of the leontief matrix we have already done problems on how to find the inverse of a matrix the inverse of leontief matrix i minus a superscript minus one equals one by determinant of the leontief matrix times a join of the leontief matrix let us find its determinant Now let us find the cofactor of each element in the Leontief matrix and arrange them in a matrix which is known as the cofactor matrix. Now cofactor of A11 which is 0 0.8. Let us check its positional sign. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 is an even number. So we have a positive sign. Deleting the row and the column. We are left with 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 0 0.9 times 0 0.8 equals 0 0.72 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.06 0 0.72 minus 0 0.06 equals 0 0.66 cofactor of a12 that is minus 0 0.3 1 plus 2 equals 3 3 is an odd number we have a negative sign deleting the row and the column we are left with minus 0 0.4 next minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 0 0.8 we need to keep minus outside the bracket minus times plus equals minus 0 0.4 times 0 0.8 equals 0 0.32 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.02 we have minus outside the bracket minus 0 0.32 minus 0 0.02 equals minus 0 0.34 minus times minus equal plus so we are left with 0 0.34 cofactor of a13 that is minus 0 0.2 1 plus 3 equals 4 4 is an even number so we have a positive sign deleting the row and the column we have minus 0 0.4 0 0.9 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.3 minus times minus equals plus 
0 0.4 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.12 minus times plus equals minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 equals 0 0.09 minus times minus equals plus 0 0.09 0 0.12 plus 0 0.09 equals 0 0.21 cofactor of a to 1 that is minus 0 0.4 2 plus 1 equals 3 3 is an odd number so we have a negative sign deleting the row and the column we have minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 0 0.8 minus outside the bracket minus times plus equals minus 0 0.3 times 0 0.8 equals 0 0.24 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.06 minus 0 0.24 minus 0 0.06 equals minus 0 0.30 minus times minus equals plus so we have 0 0.30 cofactor of a22 that is 0 0.9 2 plus 2 equals 4 4 is an even number so we have a positive sign deleting the row and the column we have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 0 0.8 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 equals 0 0.64 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.02 0 0.64 minus 0 0.02 equals 0 0.62 cofactor of a23 that is minus 0 0.2 2 plus 3 equals 5 5 is an odd number so we have a negative sign deleting the row and the column we have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.3 we have negative sign outside the bracket plus times minus equals minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.24 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.03 minus 0 0.24 minus 0 0.03 equals minus 0 0.27 minus times minus equals plus so we have positive 0 0.27 cofactor of a31 that is minus 0 0.1 3 plus 1 equals 4 4 is an even number so we have positive sign deleting the row and the column we have minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2 minus times minus equals plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.06 minus plus into minus equals minus 0 0.9 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.18 0 0.06 minus times minus equals plus 0 0.18 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 equals 0 0.24 cofactor of A32 that is minus 0 0.3 3 plus 2 equals 5 5 is an odd number so we have negative sign deleting the row and the column we have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 so we have minus outside the bracket plus into minus equals minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.16 minus minus times minus equals plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.08 minus 0 0.16 minus 0 0.08 equals minus 0 0.24 minus times minus equals plus so we have positive 0 0.24 cofactor of a33 that is 0 0.8 3 plus 3 equals 6 6 is an even number so we have a positive sign deleting the row and the column we have 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.4 0 0.9 0 0.8 times 0 0.9 equals 0 0.72 minus 
minus times minus equals plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 equals 0 0.12 0 0.72 minus 0 0.12 equals 0 0.60 let us arrange the cofactor of each element in a matrix which is known as the cofactor matrix cofactor of a11 is 0 0.66 next cofactor of a12 is 0 0.34 cofactor of a13 is 0 0.21 cofactor of a21 is 0 0.30 cofactor of a22 is 0 0.62 cofactor of a23 is 0 0.27 cofactor of a31 is 0 0.24 cofactor of a 32 is 0 0.24 and cofactor of a33 is 0 0.60 next we need to find the adjoint matrix of i minus a the adjoint matrix is nothing but the transpose of a given matrix the transpose of a given matrix is derived by interchanging the rows into columns or columns into rows let us interchange the rows into columns 0 0.66 0 0.34 0 0.21 0 0.30 0 0.62 0 0.27 0 0.24 0 0.24 and 0 0.60 so we have obtained the adjoint matrix let us substitute the determinant of the leontief matrix and the adjoint of the leontief matrix in the above formula the determinant of the leontief matrix is equal to 0 0.384 next we need to substitute the inverse of the leontief matrix and the final demand vector in the leontief input output model equation let us simplify further by multiplying the adjoint of leontief matrix with the final demand vector in the multiplication process we need to multiply each row with the final demand vector let us start with the first row 0 0.66 times 10 plus 0 0.30 times 5 plus 0 0.24 times 6 for the second row 0 0.34 times 10 plus 0 0.62 times 5 plus 0 0.24 times 6 for the third row 0 0.21 times 10 plus 0 0.27 times 5 plus 0 0.60 times 6 let us simplify further 0 0.66 times 10 equals 6.6 .6 plus 0 0.30 times 5 equals 1.5 plus 0 0.24 times 6 equals 1.44 0 0.34 times 10 equals 3.4 plus 0 0.62 times 5 equals 3.1 plus 0 0.24 times 6 equals 1.44 0 0.21 times 10 equals 2.1 plus 0 0.27 times 5 equals 1.35 plus 0 0.60 times 6 equals 3.6 now 6.6 .6 plus 1.5 plus 1.44 equals 9.54 next 3.4 plus 3.1 plus 1.44 equals 7.94 for the last row 2.1 plus 1.35 plus 3.6 equals 
Finally, dividing each element in the vector by the scalar 0 0.384, we have 9.54 divided by 0 0.384 equals 24.84. Next, 7.94 divided by 0 0.384 equals 20.68. 7.05 divided by 0 0.38 equals 18.36 in the calculation process i have used a calculator and i would suggest you to use a calculator so that you will be able to finish the problem faster finally we will write down therefore the upper levels for the first industry second industry and third industry are 24.84 units 20.68 units and 18.36 units respectively so this is our answer